Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. And uh, Isaiah and I were just discussing this whole other thing of really interesting of throwing exceptions versus returns. In this one though, we want to talk a little bit different about the role as a person developing a library versus the role of like a programmer that's going to use the library, right? And how your, your um, roles differ in that. Now, where we ended the last one, you were citing an example. I'm trying to remember where oh, we the, were. The, the, where, the one from the um, from Geeks Dude uh, Chrome. Library. Right, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Right. right. And how you, you were saying he, he had a, a function in there that would assume that, well, it was going to check and, hey, if you provided a profile, but that folder didn't exist, it threw an exception and said, hey, wait a minute, there's, right. there's no <laughs> actual profile was, here. And, yeah, and, and, and at first, you were, as a as a I, I was annoyed. Yeah, I was, yeah, annoyed. Like, I, I was annoyed by it. And I was right. like, hold on, uh, but right. come on, I just passed you a location. I want that location, whether it exists or not. I want you to create it if it doesn't exist. Now, he is the one that is creating the library he cannot assume that because that's me. Shouldn't. shouldn't. He yes. shouldn't. Yeah. Right. But he shouldn't because that's me. How about right. another programmer who does not right. want that? Spot on. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't know the instance case of what that right. person is doing and what they want to do. And if they truly did expect one, something's wrong and they need to you know, change something. Right. Um, and and, and I, I do want to point out that the reason why I started researching into whether to throw an exception uh -huh. or return a value was because of that instance. Oh, cool. It was exactly yeah. because of that. I was like, hold on, why is he throwing an error? Is it better? And I started researching. I read a little bit and, and I got like, eh, in between. But right. now I found an instance in my code that I said like, you know what? It was better to throw an error there, you know, like, right. Yeah. Well, and, and so getting back to in this example where I had a case the other day, someone wrote me and said, hey, I'm trying to, you know, use logic on a cell in Excel to say, hey, if the color is above zero, I want the text to be black. But if it's below zero, I want the text to be red. And, okay. and when I was recording that video, I was explaining to people, well, you know, if I was doing this check a thousand times, which he very well might be, I would probably actually, you know, add another function to my library to just include that because like I don't want to keep doing that outside every time of keep passing these same things over and over and over in this check. Yeah. I'd, I'd put that all, I'd include that into a function, but I, I didn't think I'd be using that much. I don't think a lot of people are going to use it a lot. So I didn't add that to my main function. And that was back to this point of like, because it's not something that I think is going to get used that much, right? So right. I want to keep it generic enough so people can just say, hey, you know, they can do logic on their side. Let's get the value of that cell. Hey, if it's above or below whatever threshold they want, and then they can say, that. call my exactly. function and change the color, right? Exactly. Um, now, now um, I do want you to please explain a little bit because I saw you earlier saying, um, I heard you saying um, uh, developer and then you said programmer. Is there a difference? Like we, we are trying to kind right. of like clarify that, right? Yeah. And, and all I... All I was trying to say was, and actually, I was going to ask you if you had more than one hat sitting around. It'd be like, hey, it, you know, it helps understand <laughs> you have different roles, right? Okay, and, yeah, yeah. and just for a person developing a library, the back end kind of thing, they have different goals and, and, you know, things they have to do versus a programmer, you know, is trying to implement something. They have different goals, right? And yes, it, it's, I, I was calling just, you know, them different things, not because I knew any better, just because it would help me understand your when you're saying well, now i need to do this i'm like wait a minute is that you as a programmer or as a developer right like is that right. you as the person working on the library or your code implementing the library because it gets confusing right? exactly <laughs> so you have these layers of code right and you have these three parts um most the the low and uh, the low programming mm -hmm. uh where you actually write libraries and drivers for example you see your graphics driver i i i am really sure that not everybody can understand that coding even if you code yep. in that language yeah, it is not because because the way how they think the way how they access the memory and stuff is so efficient that they make it so compact that you you don't have to understand it it just has to work fast right but uh, there's another layer, which is kind of like the front end of things, uh, what the user is going to see, right? 
that's a different type of programming and the mindset is different. And as you mentioned, the goals are completely different. Um, one of the people who I was reading uh, their position on this says like when you're coding in library code, your job is to throw exceptions, throw them to the top, right? You throw them. Now, the next, the, the next programmer, as you mentioned, right? Yeah. So the next right. programmer who is actually focusing on the end product, which is what the user is going to see, right? His job is to catch the errors. So if something is not working, he's going to catch the errors and decides what to do with them. Now, one quick thing, one quick note, when you throw an exception, it doesn't mean that something went wrong. It doesn't really mean Even that there was an error. Yeah, mentally. Most of the time, so say, most yeah. of the time, most of the time, it might be that something didn't work as it, expected, right? That's right. Well, I was gonna say it was it's just an exception. That I think you just nailed the definition. It's just it just means it wasn't something we planned on, right? Like it's not something we expected. But that's, exactly. It doesn't mean exactly. it broke. So right? my it, function, yeah. my yeah. function has certain things, like for example, it checks whether you're connected to the internet. It checks whether the parameters you passed were the correct ones. And in the end, it checks whether your version is the same or not. Now, that one for the version is not an error if you have the same version, right? Right. right. But I am seeing it as an exception because my task is to update your program and I couldn't update it. I couldn't update it because you have the same version as it is on the so so I, I see it as an exception of what I was trying to do, right? Um, that's the reason why you throw an exception, not an error, right? right. <laughs> so the the task of somebody who is actually creating at the front end of your program is to catch those exceptions and decide what to do with them because everybody has uh, different use cases. Right better creativity some of them might come up with a better solution that you are so yeah Ian, me, as, me as a library developer i cannot oh, yeah. plan on yeah. everything right? right well and you don't know the use cases right so back right. to your exactly. point where let's talk about the programmer that's developing it but let's say you're my customer right and i know i'm creating this tool that you use in dentistry whatever it is right but i happen mm -hmm. to know i'm building it for you right I'm going to use certain descriptions and words and things that are more relevant. You for you. Are going, yeah, right. You are going and that's to my whole point is like, I'm, I'm curtailing it very specific to um, it's, it's responsive. Like it's, it's relevant, right. Yes. To, to how you're using the tool. And that helps the person using it going, Oh, okay. Like if I also, if I know I'm talking to a doctor versus um, you know, a, or, or a techie person versus um, someone that doesn't know anything about computer. I mean, how the words you use to them, explain to them what you're going to ask them to do, all differ. That library person has no idea who's using what, right? How you're using it. That is correct. And actually, and this is the funny thing, the same exception that I throw as a library developer, different uh, programmers can uh, show a message uh, in a different way for each of their clients. Right. It is the yes. same message. Right. It is right. the same error. Exception. Yeah. But well, the exception. And yeah. for example, I was thinking about a, 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 an internet connection error. Right. right. So, uh, so in, in my case, that's why I said error, not uh, because I, I was thinking about say yeah, okay. my right. my function is trying to get the internet connection. There is no internet connection for right. the dentist. The message that I want to show is like, hey, you, uh, um, right. there is no internet connection. But right. for somebody working at a bank, I want to show um, you need to ask your IT for permissions to right. access the network. Right. It's the same error, right? right. But right. The, the, the programmer that is developing the front end can show a different message. And they both do exactly the same thing. Try to connect. Well, and then catch the exception. Right? And even then, to your point, let's stick with the dentist one, right? right you have right. Your, your actual dental hygienist, you know, that might be using the program. There might be some, but there are people that work in IT that they, you know, you might create a wholly different program. They're still leveraging that same library. The same, right? yeah, exactly. But you and create a whole different program, thing. and that's where it's like their systems admin person, right? And they have different errors in understanding. So, and and, yeah. and and again, of course, you might argue, well, I can do the same with the return code, but now you are forced for each of the programs yeah, that you're yeah. doing. Right do that 
while in my case you're not forced to do in that because if well, you don't catch the exception you are going to get a right. generic one right? right so that's the point let me let's switch back more to what we started with here because I, I have a question for you which we haven't discussed and i'm, I'm very interested okay. in this. Okay. so back to my my example here with that excel library where right. i said i can see the value of like someone might use this thing a lot right that thing of saying hey we'll look at this value and i pass it as a, a parameter and a function that value if it's a greater than or less than or whatever okay that and then the name of the color okay those two things would allow and the cell range right those three things right would would allow the person to very simply in one line of code do all that logic so yes. my question is hey at what point when you're the library developer and someone comes back and says hey you know i really like that but i do this a lot you know right. you know can we incorporate it in there somehow like again I definitely yes. get you you wouldn't change the original right but at what point do you mm, i might change the original. So, so do you add yeah. the new thing or do you just say hey that's something that i don't think a lot of people are going to do so you need to right. do that on your own like no no no, no. That, that, that. that's totally that's totally up to the developer so for right. example just just an, as an example um, um and and some developers are a little bit more straightforward in their answer than others like for example there are some people who you might say like oh i would like this option no i'm not interested in adding that yep. so i'm not interested in that if you want you can code it yourself right <laughs> there's some people who are like that yeah, yeah i've, I've um, gotten yeah, <laughs> yeah so you, you've got you can get that yeah well um, yeah like maestriath <laughs> with, with studio right he he would a lot of stuff he incorporated right away. He's like, that's a good idea. And then stuff, right. I was like, I have no, right. idea, no interest in that. I'm like, oh, right. And, and, and I was fine. thinking about, uh, right. I was thinking about lexicos, by the way. So yeah. he's, in yeah. his new version, like, oh, this is a very cool idea. Well, I'm not interested right. in that. You can do it yourself. Like, yeah. and I was thinking like, there's a whole new auto hotkey for it. Like the, the auto hotkey H, which well, has this yeah, encryption right. thing. And I'm like, well, why aren't you interested in that? Cor correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> That's how L came to be, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it? The, yeah, yes, the whole exactly. com object kind of thing. Like they wanted to have com incorporated in. in... And Chris was saying, like, mm, I don't know how to do that. I don't care about it. So you do it yourself. Lexico said, let, uh, let me do it myself. And he just did it. <laughs> yeah, and he was sorry for it ever since. No, I'm kidding. kidding. Uh, All the work he's had <laughs> but, to do, right? It's like, yeah. but, but, but that's the thing. So basically, um, um, again, this is very kind of like a personal thing. You as a developer, first of all, do you see that as a very good idea? Right. Do you see that it's going to help a lot of people? Right. Maybe you would decide to do it. Don't you? Are aren't you interested in that? You don't have to. Um, right. uh, now, you if you see like a lot of support, like if right. all the users are asking yeah. for the same thing, yeah. Should but, I do it? Should I not do it? Yeah, it's but, something very, very subjective. The screen clipping one, I get a lot of people that, that want certain things done to it. And I'm like, and let, this, that's not something I think anyone other than you is ever going to use. You know, you can change it. Yeah. And it's not only that, source code. sometimes, sometimes your objective is not what, right. when they tell you something uh, that they right. want, right? you say like, well, that's not what I'm trying to do here. Like, right. well, I would like your screen clipping tool to record my voice. And I'm like, it is a screen so clipping funny. thing, awesome. right? Yeah. right? No, but the thing is that I use it so right. often right. that I want to add that. Well, man, uh, this is a screen clipping thing, right? Yeah. It's and, not and, like... and you can add that. <laughs> you can add it if you want, right? right. Yeah. So again, uh, again, this particular part awesome. comes down to uh, subjective preference. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Good chat. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.